what is good guys and here we are i had to recontinue that last one when he lost the kid so now we got a new kid and i got a girl a little girl so this level took me the longest and yeah so i got a daughter here named wendy total sweetheart smart ass too Raise Wendy from a baby into a child. Unlock domesticated or domestic. Ugh. It's a beach. It's a fucking sandbox. That's all it is. So. Uh, what can we talk about today that I haven't talked about yet? Hmm. Well, I did talk about that handball thing about Ryder. So. This was uh, back in middle school before I met Martin. Everybody. So. Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, so me and Ryder... This was second semester of sixth grade. So me and Ryder were actually the best of friends. He actually had another friend that he was really cool with. And so was I. We, we eventually started becoming friends. Uh, his name was Clayton. This dude. Clayton was uh, Clayton was a cool motherfucker. He had a big afro. The biggest afro. And the sad part is when he had a big afro and he had to cut it. He was so depressed, dude. It was sad. Like... He had he always had a smile on his face. He was the happy go lucky dude. Never really once did I ever see him so sad. And um he him and Ryder, they used to have a friend that we would pick on just cuz he was, you know, the nerd of the group. His name was Zach. Uh I was his friend, but I was also guilty of kind of being a bully to him, but I didn't realize that I was really being a bully to him until i got older i was like oh man i was rude to him i didn't mean to like i just they made fun of him and you know i made fun of him too but i still hung out with him though that was the different thing that was the weird thing nobody else hung out with him only me i hung out with him when Ryder wasn't around or clayton wasn't around we had two classes together and we always sat next to each other and we talked we played games and stuff like that because he used to bring his game boy and uh, i used to try to bring mine stepdad didn't see that i bring it and we would try to play pokemon together so and you know he helped me out in music class and science and, you know, I, I you know we were friends but it's just i didn't realize i was such a prick to him you know, eventually down the line i started apologizing to him and you know if anything i got a little closer to him but he ended up uh he ended up moving away sadly well when he moved away though we hung out with him forever we used to, there was a park behind the uh behind our school and with the last month he stayed there we we used to go after school and hang out at the park the park had a skate park there too so it was a real nice area and we hung out with him day after day after that so we didn't hate him you know he's just dumb kids you know but i hope he's doing fine now i i don't know his last name we just know his name is zach and anyway, i enjoyed his company even though i was a prick to him so I own that, and I feel bad. But I hope he's doing good now. So as for Ryder. Ryder and me used to hang... We hung out at lunch all the time. Zach and Clayton, they hardly hung out with us. But every now and then, they would show up and play some handball with us. And then they would take off and go do another thing. I don't know what they were doing. But I do know Clayton used to hang out with the skaters or something like that. Zach, I think Zach hung out with some other kids. Because we did one time see him near the basketball courts. But the basketball courts we had, they had steps. Like, they actually had, like, a, a, a step made of fucking, what do you call it? Um, cement. Like, it was actual cool steps. They were big, too. Like, they weren't normal steps. Like, you really had to put your <laughs> foot up to actually climb them. But I know he hung out over there. I never hung out over there because, you know, I wasn't part of that group. Uh, one interesting that happened between me and Ryder was there was a girl that hung out with us when we played handball. Now, keep in mind, it was just me and him that played handball. Everybody else, they, they sort when they saw us playing handball, they would show up. So there was this one chick. Look at my daughter. Look at my daughter. What a sweetheart. You know, I had to clean up after herself and everything. Well, why is she crying? Oh, she she's lonely. Yeah, well, she could talk to good old Papa Box. Big daddy box. And, uh, yeah, so, like, so, we had a friend named Jessica, and she was tomboyish, but I thought she was cute. So, and Ryder was, like, neutral with her. He thought she was she was cute, too, but he's, like, he was more like, oh, but Jennifer and Roxy were way hotter. I was like, yeah, what the, no shit. 
Jessica's fucking always wearing sweaters and glasses and her hair in a ponytail. At least the other girls show up wearing booty shorts and shit. Fuck. <laughs> but over over time when we were playing handball, it was just me, her, me, her writer. Jessica would hang out. You know, Jessica would talk to me and I talked to her. And funny enough, I had a weird, weird sense of like my confidence skyrocketed when I was around her. But my confidence was, well, I hate using this word, was pretty cringy. <laughs> it's cringy in this way. I used to try to rap and sing when I was uh, around her and try to dance. Like break dancing, not regular dancing. So I did everything I could to do that, but she would always laugh at me. I don't know if she was laughing at me or laughing with me, but she laughed a lot whenever I was around. <laughs> and fucking Ryder, you know, Ryder's bitch ass, he, he couldn't step up to me. But, but one day uh, I was talking to Ryder about it. I was like, you know what? I like Jessica. I kind of want to make her my girlfriend. And just Ryder's like, really? You want to try for fucking Roxy and what's her name? And I was like, no, you can't try them, man. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> And he fucking told me, he's like, well, go for it, man. I mean, I think she's cool, but whatever. And so, and then we're playing handball again the next day. It was on a Thursday. And I remember telling Jessica, I was actually trying to get her. I was trying to get her to admit to liking me. And I was trying to get her to suggest that, yeah, we should date. So what I would do was I, uh, I'd flirt around and, you know, poke her and try to, you know, poke tickler and shit like that. And, you know, and sing fucking Ninja Turtles rap song. That the <laughs> Yo, it's the green machine gonna rock the town without being seen. Have you ever seen a turtle get down? You know, just singing that shit. So she would laugh at it because, she, you know, she liked the Ninja Turtles as well. And... And one day I was poking her, and I was just poking her, I was like, oh, I'm... She's like, hey, stop. You know, like, you know, girls, when you poke their sides, they laugh. And she's just like, stop. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to... Your boyfriend, huh? He's going to get mad, huh? She goes, no, I don't have a boyfriend. Yes! Okay, that's number one. <laughs> and now the next thing was to try to get her to, and you know, get her to like me. And, I, and, you know, I'd try all the stupid tactics, too. Stupid-ass tactics. Because I was shy. What the fuck you want me to do? I was shy. I didn't know how to really step up to it. But in a weird way, I had confidence, but I was just too shy to go through with it. So, I don't know. That's, that's just a weird combination if you really think about it. But So I suggested, I was like, yeah, I would love to have a girlfriend. And she, she'd be like, why don't you have one? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm ugly or something. I don't think you're ugly, she said. I think you're kind of cool. But fuck. <laughs> don't say, they, I hate when they, when they say you're kind of cool, you're kind of just friend zoned at that point, bro. <laughs> but I didn't. So I ended up. Uh, in, in the, the conversation kind of went silent after that. And then we went, went back to playing handball. And, uh. And just like, and I guess Ryder ended up telling her that, yeah, Mox likes you. And she's like, oh, really? And, you know, like all stupid. I was like, Ryder, you're lying. She, she did not say that. He goes, yeah. She's like, really? I got another fucking baby? Aw, oh, what? That's another girl. What am I going to name her? Uh, I don't know what to name this one. Wendy, I just randomly thought about it because like, Cause you know I, I like the name Windy because that's what I call the wind when it blows. You know the wind is mother nature. You know it's nature. I, I, I associate everything with women. I don't know what to name her. Uh, Ashley? Nah, how about how about name her Sarah? Ah, uh, great. Now we're now we'll have to take care of this brat. This sucks. It's born in the kitchen. See, I didn't even touch my wife. I didn't even touch her and we got a kid. See? Don't get girlfriends. So 
Don't you? Oh yes, we helped Sir develop into a new baby. Yep. Yeah, we raised her into a new baby. Yep, yep, because I wanted to skip all that. So what happened was the Jessica came out and told me she's like, hey, uh, her writer told me something interesting. I was like, what did he tell you? You know, because I was we're waiting for him to come because we're we're uh, we're waiting by the wall. This was in middle school, so we're waiting by a, a wall near the gym area because that's where we usually wait to play handball. And she's like, yeah, Ryder told me that uh, you liked me. I was like, fuck, and I just went. No, I didn't say that. You know, she, she she knew right away that I was lying, right? So, and and she's like, well, I think you're kind of cool. She kept saying cool. I was like, fuck, man. <laughs> I was like, damn, stop friend zoning me. It's like, why are you even talking to me about it at that point, right? So, she ended up like, she's like, so do you wanna do you wanna be boyfriend girlfriend? Or you're all like. And I'm like, okay. Like, I finally got her to admit it. So I'm all like, yeah, let's try it, you know? She's like, okay, cool. So it was just, like, awkward after that. And we just went back to playing handball. Like, I didn't know what to do. I really didn't know. Technically, this wasn't my first girlfriend. Technically, no. This isn't my first girlfriend. It was just somebody I liked. But I wasn't, you know, I wasn't in love with them yet. Actually, I wasn't even in love with them at all. All I know is, is that for the next week it was just us hanging out you know what i mean so i didn't even think about it like that i didn't think about her like a girlfriend i just thought of her as another friend and so yeah one of my friends hot ass over on my list of things and blowing up what a bitch nobody wants to hang out with me not even in this game i can't even get laid well, that's not true i got a wife Chantel. Now I already had, no. I need another friend to. I need another friend to get a uh, to get promoted. Layla was good. Absolutely, we have so much to catch up to do. I have some juiciest gossip. I know you just want to hear. Oh, spill the tea, baby. Spill the tea. Spill it up. My life. So, so yeah, me and Jessica just had like this. We had a same relationship and. When Ryder found out about it, Ryder was just kind of teasing us about it. It's like, ooh, what were you guys up to, huh? Huh? You know, he didn't say it like that. He's like, yo, what's up, the cute couple of, you know, our school, whatever. Like, he was just being very teasing about it. And he wasn't jealous or anything like that. He was just, he was just really cool about it. He was just, I guess he was just trying to be a homie and support it, you know? And then one day... While we're playing handball again, like as usual, every day after lunch or every day at lunch, we played it, this is, you know, because Ryder was my only friend and Jessica. So I didn't, um, you know, he was my only friend there at that because we had second lunch and my other friends, they were in the first lunch, which is a really dumb. Lunch. And yeah, fucking he just out of nowhere, she just out of nowhere said, hey, you know, that thing we talked about boyfriend girlfriend thing i was like yeah what about it she's like you know i was just kidding right yeah <laughs> she's like of all yeah it's like what's up layla rocking the leather jacket i need to make her my friend so i can get from all this talk over here yeah and i was like and i told Ryder about it i was like hey Ryder, you know that thing she just told me like that that shit between us was a joke and he looked at me like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, he looked, and I was like, yeah, dude, she said it was a joke. Like, we're just joking around. He goes, what? He's just like, nah. -uh. I was like, what do you mean, nah? -uh? Like, she's like, she, because they had a class together. And apparently they were talking about, like, I guess the group, the class was talking about, like, couples. And he said that she mentioned that she was dating you. Or that you guys were supposedly together. And, you know, they just kind of, like, they laughed it off. You know, they were just talking about it. So, I he's like, I specifically heard her say that she was dating somebody. She didn't she didn't exactly mention me by name, now that I think about it. Because Ryder said that she said she was dating somebody. So, because, you know, everybody was talking about it. Because at, at that time, 
we don't have cell phones. Well, there was one dude named Joey who had a cell phone. That guy was cool as fuck. But I, I hardly knew him. I just knew him from other classes. But yeah, and he. So she pretty. So he pretty much told me that yeah, she said that she had a boyfriend, but she didn't mention you by name. So therefore, it's like this is just weird. Why? Why would she say that we were just kidding? And then it dawned on me. I was like, bro, I think I'm being used. He goes, and he's like, you think so? I go, yeah. Cause where's she at? She hasn't been here. And after she told me it was a joke, you know, I didn't get a hug, I didn't get anything like that, right? So she hasn't been around. And Ryder, and Ryder, that fool, Ryder knew how to get info. Like he knew how to talk to people and get some info. This motherfucker, this motherfucker found out like two, three days later that yeah, she was fucking using me. And I'm sitting there going, this is Michaela all over again. Cause Michaela did the same shit to me in elementary school. And what's ironic is Michaela had the same lunch as me hanging out with that one fat kid. And I tried to, and you know, I was kind of rude to her too. I just go, look who it is, Michaela. And I'm like, yo. So, yeah, and, and like, so what had happened was, um, was when I found out about it, Jessica wasn't around anymore. But she still talked to Ryder. And, I, and at first I thought to myself, is Ryder dating her? Did, is Ryder playing me? You know, like, I thought, at first I was kind of like, at first I didn't care about it, but it started to, it started to bother me. I don't know why, but it started to bother me. And I'm trying to figure out, did Ryder do me dirty? Did Ryder hit on my, my, did Ryder hit on my girl? <laughs> you know, did he steal her from under me? Because, yeah, he was being weird about it. But no, turns out that she, yeah, she was using me, trying to get this guy jealous. The dude was at, the dude had our fucking, apparently, I don't know who it was exactly, but I do know he was on the basketball team. It was some, it was some Mexican kid. Hey, I forgot his name, to be honest. Yeah, he was, he, you know, he, you know, he's just one of those dudes, you know, the, the pimples on his face, butt ugly motherfucker. Hey, I, I, I'm not trying to diss people who have pimples on their face, but I'm just saying, like, I'm better looking than him. Oh, because I, I hardly ever got acne. I, I, as dirty as I was, my face was clean. <laughs> but yeah, like, she uh, you know, hit a baby girl again. Layla don't want to talk to me again? Fuck you, Layla. Bitch, I never liked you anyways. Uh, Yeah, then I was like, you know what? I'm going to call Fran again. Where's Fran at? Come on, Fran. And get you with your fucking... Let me get you in your tan. In that hot tan of yours. Fucking looking like an orange. Your orange ass. And yeah, like, so she was using me to fucking get this guy's attention. And, I, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, this is the second time this shit's happened to me. No, actually, this is the third time. This is actually the third time. The the other time I never told anybody about it, but... It, it, it was the same thing. It was, uh, it was... Before it was the second semester, it was the first semester, and I didn't really talk about it because it was no big deal. It only happened. It only happened for no, actually no. This happened to me four times. I was used four times. Cause in elementary school, elementary school, there was a girl named Alex. Who? Oh, let me tell you about. Let me tell you about this one. Okay, so pretty much, let me close the story on Jessica. Jessica was just using. It. And she never came back to play handball with me and Ryder again. It was just me and Ryder and some other kids that used to come over to play handball with us when they didn't, when they couldn't play Foursquare anymore. So you know we were just hanging out. But the, this is the, the third time this has happened to me. Michaela was the first. Michaela was the, the first girl to use me to get the attention of this one fool named Jose. And fuck that dude. <laughs> I think it was Jose. I don't remember his fucking name. Fuck him. But he was Jesse's best friend. Or they weren't best friends, but they were cool. Cause, you know they were one of those dudes that dressed real nice and his cousin was Brittany and he tried to hook up uh Jesse and Brittany which was funny because <laughs> which was funny because fucking Brittany was a big bitch not fat she was just tall she was tall and thick and Jesse was all skinny and short 
<laughs> was a big ass head. But anywho. Okay, so in elementary school, before I went to middle school, there was this girl that I knew named Alex. And we sat in a we sat together in our history class. And my homie, well who wasn't my homie at that time anymore, his name was Alex too, which was her real name was Alexandria, obviously, but it, this bitch was horny for me. Let me tell you, she was a little hoe. She had black hair, you know. She she looked she actually looked native, to be honest. She had like a Native American look to her. She was, very, she was a cute girl. She was awkward though. But she was really weird. There's actually another girl I liked named Ellen, but she was a bitch. She was a bitch. She was a brat. Why am I talking about her? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, anyways, so Alex, you, we, this is my first time writing notes in class. Out of all the types of the cartoons and shit, finally I'm getting notes written to me. Because the teacher was having a presentation on the board. You know when they turn off the lights and they use the, uh, they use that fucking, uh, I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it's called, but it was like a projector, but they write on it. She was explaining how uh, cells work. We're talking about the human body. So she was talking about cells and how they reproduce, etc. like that. And this girl was writing fucking notes to me. Alex was writing like... She wrote a note saying hi and sent it to me. Like, well, because we sat next to each other. And that teacher was mean. So if you talked, she would get all crazy. Fuck, I fell asleep. Well, hey, oh, oh, I'm gonna get promoted. I gotta get promoted. Come on. And yeah, so we're writing notes to each other. She wrote hi. I wrote hi back. And, you know, we didn't even fold it. We just kept giving each other the paper. And then, uh, and then I was just, uh, what the fuck? Wake your ass up. We gotta get friends, hot ass. And, uh, so I wrote hi back. And she get, takes it back and writes it. She goes, do you want to be my boyfriend? Like, like, straight up, do you want to be my boyfriend? And I put... Yeah, sure. And I send it back. And she says, great, awesome. I'm all like, yup. <laughs> I didn't even type yup, but the whole time we sat in class and we were just awkward. Like, we sat there awkwardly. Come on, bitch. What do I got to do to make you my family friend? I need to get promoted. If I get promoted, I will bang you. <laughs> I will bang you with my man. Finally. Okay, good. I got to go, go to bed. Go to bed and I'll get promoted i gotta get promoted so yeah so okay so alex said that you know she just gave me that whatever right and so it, so we didn't really hang out at lunchtime because i was too busy playing handball and shit like that but sometimes i would go to her court where she would play because she used to play by the swing sets and that was part of the wall where now that I think about it, those walls were better to play on. But the problem is, the cement ended where the dirt was, and you couldn't really play handball right there, like as hardcore as we did, because we played it on the blacktop, where the where obviously where everything else is, the four square, the tetherball tables, etc. Man, what a cool school! I want to go back. One of these days, I'm gonna hop the fence and go over there. I'm dead ass serious. I'm thinking about doing it. I want to do it. I think I'm gonna do that. One of these days, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab my phone, grab a flashlight, hop the fucking fence, and show everybody these. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. But anyways, uh, yeah. So this is how I know she was using me. When we played handball together, she used to stick by me all the time. Like in the line, she would try to cut in front of me, or she would try to do back cuts. I don't know if anybody remembers their school logic. Front cuts, back cuts, whatever. And I would try to get her to cut in front of me because I didn't want to start problems with anybody for her cutting and get us in trouble. I mean, because I'm losing my turn. So, But then again, it was wrong on any rule. So so she, was old, she would stick by me whenever I would go see her or go play handball somewhere else because the lines were too long or there were certain people there that I didn't like. There was this kid named Chad. Chad was a fucking Chad, though. Chad was everywhere. He was this uh, redhead kid. Redhead kid that always had a buzz cut. 
And every time I played handball, he was just a hype man. He was like, dig, dig, dig. Like, he was uh, such a hype guy. He was really cool. Everyone liked Chad. <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't a dick. He wasn't a bully. He was just a real cool, positive hype guy. He's like, dig, man, handball champion here. Like, you know, like, just. He would hype me up and make me look good in front of the girls. Because I had another girl that I liked named Andrea, but nothing really happened with her. The only thing, one time though, one time when I was, uh, before I went to go see Alex, I was playing over, over at another court, and Andrea was there. And this bitch, snarky princess ass bitch too. She fucking said, because when I was playing handball, yeah, I was playing handball and I was hitting it high and almost to the point where I got it over the roof. Uh, she and he is, you know, Chad's just like, dang, dang, Mox, you fucking good. And then I used to beat Chad, too. And she's all like, and one day she's all like, Chad, it's not impressive. I go, oh, you want to see how high I can hit? I'll hit it even higher. And I hit it as high as I can, almost to hitting the top of the, of the fucking roof. It bounced off the edge of the roof, of the school roof, and it bounced back. She goes, yeah, good luck trying to impress me. Like, what? What a fucking bitch. And she lived right next door to the school. She literally could walk out the gate and go to her house. That, that was right there. I And as a kid, I'm all like, I want to go see her. <laughs> what would she do if I knocked on her door? All stupid. <laughs> but yeah, but, but I guess Alex found out about that too. But she didn't care because the next fucking day, she was talking to this kid named Ernesto or we called him Ernie his real name was Ernesto Ernesto was the gay guy that dude he was gay and I know some people are gonna be like how do you know he's gay? dude he was a fifth grader he was a fifth grade he was the oldest one in our class actually and he was gay his mannerisms were gay his you know he hung out with the girls and that that's the thing too we it's the weird thing in school we all knew he was gay. Oh, I've been promoted to astronaut. One of the highest achievements of the military. Like, have life for like yourself. Fame and fortune with the tap mission into close space and blah, 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 blah. Okay, fuck. Yeah, I got promoted. But, look, but Ernesto was cool people. We didn't hate him. We didn't disrespect him. But his favorite song was Dancing Queen. Come on, you, you guys have to know swimming pools. L, huh? <laughs> Take this L, Mox. I look eye shape, but yeah, like no, he he loved that song, Dancing Queen. One, two, three, digging the Dancing Queen. That that song, he fucking loved it. My well, great news, Malcolm and I just got married. We what the fuck? We need to move back into the house. So since you have the big family, why not move into the Malcolm drafty old mansion? Ooh, I get the mansion. Yo, I didn't know I get the mansion. Wait till I tell the family. Wife, quick, quick, and we're out of this dump. Give it to my mom. As promised, I would compensate you in the major improvements of the house. You've done quite well. Nice doing business with your mom. Twelve thousand dollars. Fuck yeah. Oh, so I'm almost done with the game then. Awesome. But yeah, she tried to use me. She used me to try to make Ernesto jealous. And he was gay. <laughs> so that makes it even funnier. <laughs> that makes it funnier. No, he, dude. And, and I was cool with Ernesto. Because he ended up telling me in class. He goes, hey, you know that girl, Alex? I was like, yeah, what about her? Uh, is she your girlfriend? I was like, oh, look, Mox. Look at our enchanted castle. What a dream come true. It's perfect place for retire. Like, fuck, yeah. But, yeah, he's like, yeah, she said that you, you're, like, you're, ugly and you're stupid and i'm like oh okay <laughs> and he's and he was ernesto was nice he's like uh, send the kids away to prep school well they already have straight a's save up twenty thousand for a yacht good god get promoted to level 10 i can do that damn this is gonna be tough hey i this is gonna be the first time i ever beat the game and i'm thankful that you guys stuck around but yeah I was used a lot. So I must be attractive, right? Right? <laughs> Anyways. 
Yeah, dude, I, w I went through a lot of heartbreak. <laughs> now that I think about it, shit. Fuck, I was used. I was used to elementary. Dang, mama. Look at what they done to your baby boy. <laughs> I was looking, even in, even in kindergarten, I had a crush who didn't use me, but I was, you know, I was stupid. I used to pretend I was, uh, I used to pretend I was Max from the Goofy movie and she was Roxanne. Which, funny enough, my ex-girlfriend in high school used to look like Roxanne. She straight up looked like her. Had the same haircut. And they were both cute. And dark skinned. Yep. <laughs> All she needed was that big nose. But yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, that was my life. I was used in middle school, in elementary school, <laughs> in high school. I don't think I was used though. No, nah, I wasn't used in high school. I actually had a girlfriend throughout high school. Not uh, in in ninth grade as a freshman, I had a girlfriend for a while. But I, I'll admit, I was a bad boyfriend. Well, not bad. Like I didn't hurt her. I was just. I was scared of getting cheated on and left on because the other two girlfriends I had in middle school, they disrespected me hard. And I just, I didn't know how to be a boyfriend, to be honest. But the next relationship I had, which was with one that I stayed with for like almost three years, that one, that's when I started to learn how to be a gentleman and all this other stuff like that. But that's a story for another time. But hey, almost done with the game. I think we got one more video to go to beat it. Oh, if you've been with me this long, I appreciate you guys. I love. I'm, I like doing this. I know it's not everybody's favorite type of thing that I do, but it's just it, this means a lot to me, you know. So this game means a lot to me. That's why, and I, I just love to share the things that made me happy, and I wish I can go back to. So much love, everybody. I'll see you next time. Take care.